Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And looks like we got a mega deal sitting on the truck. So I spent 500 bucks on this truckload of joy. And you can see, you know, here it sits. Uh, first item is a four tracks 125. Not madly in love with this particular guy, but it um, it is complete, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do with it, including the plastic and all. The second one is a second 125, but it's a Suzuki, and I seem to be having a lot of these come in. I'm not quite sure why there is so many of them out there then you could see some plastic and some other stuff um, we'll go through all this stuff in a lot more detail but just as you're beginning to add things up little silly things like the recoil plus the electric starter right even if that motor is no good that's quite a bit of money in parts uh, this guy too right the recoil, the starter, it's all there. Um, I gave it a little pull to show you that the engine is not locked up. Once I get this plastic off, I'll show it to you. The Suzuki 125 has a recoil on it. The spring seems to be sprung. Um, and if you're familiar at all, with the LT125 185 uh, all-terrain vehicles, you'll know that it's very hard to get a recoil starter. So anyway, let me get this pile <laughs> unloaded and we'll go through why I bought it and uh, where it came from and so forth. So what did I get for my 500 bucks? First thing I got and what I was really thinking about was one, two, three recoil starters. If anybody has bought these lately, you'll realize the three of them are probably worth the 500 bucks particularly very hard to get the one for the LT 125-185 model. So very happy with that. Next, I got this LT 125. I'm told it's not seized, but I can't prove it, right? Uh, what does it have on it? 2,900 miles. So it's relatively young. Um, tires seem to hold air somewhat. As a matter of fact, the fronts look pretty new. Backs look halfway decent. Fronts look relatively recent on this Ford Trax 125. You guys could see I pulled the string a few times. Just pull over the throttle moves. You can see the plastic is pretty basic. I'm told this is was running when it was parked and as a matter of fact it was running well enough where somebody went out and bought this additional set of plastics for it. It looks like for the back pieces I can get them off of this guy and it looks like I have the front wings also. My thoughts though, um, I have a couple of TRX 200 SX machines and I would actually like to get a halfway decent looking set of plastics on them. Along with the pile, <laughs> I, uh, I got this motor. This motor is kind of interesting and why do I say that? It's got a high-low on it, Honda. Uh, it's from a, a Honda ATC 200E. It is a chain drive. And almost every one of these, I find the sprocket is very, very well worn back here. 
which has probably started to skip and probably why it was taken apart. Um, it does have the cylinder here and the timing chain. It did come with the head, right? You could see the compression release here. When you see that compression release, that means it's an early one. Also, it's got a small bore carburetor, kind of the 26 millimeter PZ26. So it's kind of a small one, even though it is a 192, which makes it a 200. So these motors are kind of rare. Um, the starters, the 200 ES, the 200 M use these electric starters. So it's good to find that. The recoil goes on the 200 S, the 200 E, obviously. So that was a nice find. Obviously, the head, um, it's missing the parts. Um, uh, I got like flying insect land here. I'm missing the um, advance and the pulse generator and the cover. Um, Phil couldn't remember why he took all of that apart. I'm sure I'm going to get the comment, why do you keep buying stuff? I have to be honest, once this stuff is gone, it's gone. And <laughs> there'll be a lot of it with me. So hopefully my sons will get this all to a good place. Um, these four tires look good. And I'd like to get those on that 185 there that I'll talk about another time. So if I get tires on that 185 and get that thing up and running, that gives me a quick uh, win. If I get that plastic onto a, a 200SX, that gets me another win, right? I got a seat, recoil, all the stuff here. I, I have to admit, I truly, out of the 125s, I hate to be hating on any any machine, especially a Honda, but the lack of suspension, lack of power, the fragility, these transmissions like to blow. This, in my opinion, um, not, not the uh, greatest example of Honda engineering this, um, this TRX. Um, 125. I think the TRX 90 is a much better machine. It has suspension. It has a major amount of the power. I don't know if it, I don't think it has reverse, kind of a setback, but for a kid's machine, not such a big thing. They could get off and push, right? So I'm going to end this here. Um, feel free to comment. Even comments like, stop buying these things. <laughs> uh, for the person, the people who make those comments, I understand. But you know, back to the parts things. I really need LT125, LT185 um, recoil starters. And if I got to buy the whole machine to get the recoil, so be it. Um, I have no choice but to do that. I'm, I got a bunch of these floating around and I really have no recoils for them. I also happen to need the tires from that and all. So there we go. This guy and the other stuff, it was kind of like you can't pick. You want it, 500 for all of it or keep walking, I'll find somebody else. So I want the 500. What are you going to do? I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up. Get out and enjoy each and every day. Don't let any time get by you. Don't let any Hondas or Suzukis get by you either. You don't know how much you're going to get, so get out there and have some fun. Bye now.